Peggy says. In 1983, amongst a wave of popular anti-heroes, vigilantes, and animalistic mercenaries, artist Keith Giffen and writer Roger Sliffer introduced the world to a brand new villain in their popular Green Lantern spinoff, Omega Men. That interstellar bounty hunter was named Lobo. Initially introduced as an over-the-top parody of the aggressive and hairy heroes of other comic companies, Lobo was instantly adored by the fans and quickly evolved into the biggest badass in the universe. Leaving behind his purple and orange spandex, Lobo adopted the style and attitude of a typical American biker gang thug, frequently sporting a leather vest and boots over his ghostly white skin. When you got Lobo on your team, who needs Superman? Traveling the universe on his galaxy-hopping space hog, Lobo often leaves a trail of bodies in his wake. His aggressive demeanor and penchant for violence spans all the way back to his homeworld, where he single-handedly obliterated all of his kind in one genocidal swoop. For the past 30 years, Lobo has faced off against most of the DC Universe, including Batman, Aquaman, and even the big man himself, Superman. Say it, Uncle. I can't hear you. With superhuman strength and near invulnerability, Lobo was a deadly force to be reckoned with. After Hell rejected him and Heaven couldn't handle him, Lobo was permanently banished from the afterlife, making him fearless of death. Lobo was also an expert in multiple forms of armed and unarmed combat, keeping his favorite weapon, a large chain with a devastatingly large hook at the end of it, always at arm's length. Today, as a Zarnian slaver, Lobo is still on the hunt for the next great bounty. But will the heroes and villains working under Superman's regime allow Lobo to wreak havoc on Earth now that all crime has been abolished? What will Batman and the rest of the insurgency make of this sarcastic powerhouse with a thirst for destruction? I'll kill you, Batstitch! Dream on. Find out as Lobo enters the fight, only in Injustice, Gods Among Us.